go. The one and only White Nervosa here to uh, blow me the fuck out with um, on on arrival. Um, uh, oh, yeah, oh, by you the way, say the uh, love story is contrived. Well, yeah, a little bit. The, okay, so I'll explain a couple of things, and uh, I'm gonna do my best because it has been a while since I've seen the movie, so I might not be able to get all the the exact details from set up i just remember this being my my conclusion of the movie um before i do that though i will say uh i there's three emotes named cringe and i do not know why it appears that they're being magically renamed cringe because last stream ye was called cringe so something's happening that's causing them to all be named cringe maybe it's when i was uploading <laughs> the cringe emote or maybe it was fucking up the thing right now pump poker is showing up as cringe but anyway we can solve that in the future i just want to let you know that multiple it appears that there is a like a gray goo-esque thing going on where the cringe emotes are taking over other emotes and turning them into cringe emotes um that's a feature okay cool all right well when when i'm a cringe emote in the future i'll be very happy oh i've always wanted to be an emote <laughs> i i know it is sorry okay um all right so the reason I think it's very silly to say that it's contrived in Arrival is because communication is the theme of the movie, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the love story is very pivotal because, like, what like what was her choice in the end, right? Her choice was, spoilers, by the way, for Arrival. Spoilers for Arrival. Her choice was not to communicate to uh, the dude that their daughter would die a young, painful death, right? Because she wanted to have her her husband, right? Yeah, but see, doesn't that make you feel a little bit like there is something, there is a little bit of impact missing no, because it's just the dude? Well, because it's not about the love story. It's about Luis and her struggle, like, with communicating that, you know, if it means her daughter wouldn't exist, right? Yeah. Knowing that her daughter would die young... It's very, like, like, the love story really doesn't matter. It's more about the communication ah. in that relationship. Because, again, like, the movie's a, like, that's the theme of the movie is communication. Uh, I mean, so her yeah. deciding not to communicate that, like, is the, is this, like, story. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. To me, it just felt like the moment, the, 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 the climactic, emotional apex of the film is when she communicates with the general in the future past right mm -hmm. like when she's able to figure out um, how to communicate across time and space because of the language well i mean that's the i guess wrapping up the end of the third act but i mean that's not the main plot of the movie right well, the main well, plot of the movie is Luisa's struggle with like communication right and learning yeah. how to communicate and ultimately her decision not to communicate to her husband that you know the child they will have is going to die a young painful death like like she keeps that hidden intentionally because she knows if she tells him then she won't get that time with her daughter well yeah but i don't know like to me that didn't really add much to like Wait, but like that's the point of the movie though, right? Because like the point of the movie is everybody's shutting down and they're not communicating, right? That's causing the issue of we need to kill the eight like the the aliens, well, yeah, quote but unquote, the, right? That, that, but that 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 is like the primary challenge, which is resolved when she figures out a way to well, uh, well to communicate stay right? off. Yeah, to communicate with the people who are otherwise fear mongering. Um, right, but then in the end, her decision was communication isn't always as easy as that. Yeah. Well, yeah. But like that. I mean, like that was like, the theme that's of the kind mover. of like a. But that's kind of like a. It feels like that feels like a. Like it felt like an unsteady half step to a different position, and, um. Yeah, and and um. So I, I always I wait, don't... but but it's not a, it's not a different position. Like that's that's what the, the movie wants you to think about, right? Because that's like the theme. Well, but because it's I, never as easy as just like be like communicate and be open. Because if she did, then she would have never known her daughter. Well, I don't know because. Well, well I mean, like that's objectively true, right? If she told him that their child was going to die young, then they wouldn't have had a child. 
but then how can that be true? Because then she didn't have a choice in the matter at all. Because if she, if at the beginning of the film, see, this is where time shit gets weird. Okay. So. Oh, um, okay. So, so, but like at the beginning, she doesn't know that she's going, like, again, it's not presented in chronological order to you. Right. Yeah. So but at the very but, beginning of the film, it shows a montage with the daughter. I know yeah. to you that actually happens later. Right. But her um, later on in the film will, would know everything because of the language. The right. Language right. But, so when, she, when so she then, decides to. So when she decides to marry him, she knows at that point that they're going to have a daughter that dies a young, painful death. But she's only able so to she... make that decision because she had the daughter. That's the whole thing is that time in this universe is like all at happening at the same time. Like there's no actual, well, like, it's a different well, no, perception she... of time, right? Well, yeah, yeah. She perceives time differently. Like that's when she explicitly asks him, you know, if you could change something about your past or your life, would you? I mean, like if you, like if you knew everything well, that, I mean, that's going to happen, that's would you change it? That's the problem with the time storylines, right? Which is that, um, which is that. Uh, well, I mean, it's not like it's not like a plot hole or like you know uh, well, a Star Trek a uh, uh, paradox. It's yeah. it's more of like she's actively choosing, yeah. because she knows she's like she knows she already made the choice. Yeah, but, but she I, still I makes the really choice. Know. Like I right? never, I never really understood what that portion of the, um, of the storyline added that the original narrative didn't have, which was that that communication isn't always as easy as it seems. Well, I mean, right? but, that, but that's like the but movie that's super clear though, right? Like, um, like no, no, it's not at all because again, is, remember though, because, the, I mean, the con they blow the up. conflict they is literally the was, that proves right, that communication isn't easy. No, no, the opposite. Because why were they about to blow up the like the heptapods? Because they couldn't communicate with them, and they thought that they were a threat. No, because they couldn't communicate with each other. Well, and they also couldn't communicate with the aliens. It was both. Well, no, no, no. Remember, well, yeah, they, well, could. The the alien, well, no, they could. Because they, they have to pods. They have Then figure well, the have to pods said. Ex well, well, the have pods said exclusively give weapon. Right, like that was their interpretation. So they could communicate to a point. The well, problem yeah. was they didn't communicate to each other that, you know, resulted in the escalation of we're, we're, we're going to try to blow them up, right? So if they communicated with each other, that wouldn't have happened. And, like, that's what, again, like, ends the film, like, with them not attempting to blow them up, right? Is they communicate with each other. Well, but they figure like, that's out the, the point language of the and ending. that allows them to, de to, to defuse the... Sure, I mean, but, but like the, that's the, the point, the though. Nuclear, like it's the nuclear standoff analogy. Yeah, yeah, but th like that's that's why the ending is important because again, like the like the resolution to the movie, like the the surface plot, is that all you needed to do was communicate with one like but each other, shape. and that would have solved everything. But then this introduces another problem, which muddies the plot, and this is why I don't like this part of it personally because. When you introduce the daughter thing, the the movie makes sense when you're talking about okay, like humans are trapped in a in a uh, in constant strife because we cannot communicate with each other because we refuse to communicate with each other because we distrust one another and that and if we can learn to just hold on for a second and try to understand one another, we can probably avoid being in a forever nuclear standoff or whatever the equivalent is that's the equivalent because like right right yeah but then but but, the but again like story, you're, you're but then the daughter story comes in and then and and for most of the movie you don't spend any time with most of those characters the guy i mean the guy is kind of there but like he's not he takes a back seat and then the daughter is like you don't really know who she is or what or what entirely like i mean there's hints of it but you don't entirely know but then you have another problem and this is where it introduces the, the thing which is that if she is the one, because of her access to the language of being able to see the future and the past, and if she told her husband that she wouldn't, that her daughter would would die and he wouldn't want to live through that, she basically uses her ability as a time traveler to act as God and decide for him what his future is. Do you see how that muddles the plot? It like... It starts. Oh, now well, you're now you're dealing it, with a different it, ethical. It introduces another it, it, ethical it, it, problem. It doesn't. It doesn't muddy the plot. It 
ask you the question because like that's what movies like or you know art is supposed to do right it's not supposed to say we'll just communicate forehead because it's not that easy if she communicated to him our child will die young well then she will never know her child so she actively chooses not to do that isn't that his right though to to, to... oh sure but like that's the plot of the movie though isn't it her right to know her daughter to me that felt like an unintended uh thing because they never well i think well well it, i mean it, i mean that's the theme of the movie so like it definitely was intended well, um it, it's I just mean, like to you you disagree i think you disagree with her choice right no and that's why I like i think i don't you... necessarily disagree with her choice but uh i do think that like it uh it 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 introduces a a unsatisfying quandary which is that like the movie, the, the the premise of the movie is spending most of the film expressing how horrifically bad we are at communication and how it leads to horrific amounts of death. And that if we learned to see things from a different perspective, aka the perspective of the heptapods, um, then, um, then, uh, then, then you can you can see the world in a totally different way that you didn't think was possible. And to me, that is well, a, right. well, a, right. good, a good thought-provoking theme that gets you thinking. And then, but then it introduces sort of at the tail end, which I mean, it, which again kind of conflicts with some of the other themes of like the the the, the, the cyclicality. It ends with an anti an anti cyclical. No, no, not at all. Because again, like she recollects things. So like this happens throughout the film, right? Where, like, so the only thing told non-chronologically is the opening of the movie. Everything else is told chronologically. Mm -hmm. So when you see, quote-unquote, well, flashbacks, until, until are actually her recollecting the, the future. Until she understands the well, 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 she thinks she's going kind of crazy, right? Like, she has a dream about the Heptapod. I don't remember. But, like, part, she's... Okay, so, so, yeah, so, so... In the movie, you see various, like, quote-unquote flashbacks. They're actually her recollecting the future and not understanding what the fuck that is, right? So, like, uh, for example, in the mover, the, uh, she, she's, like, collapsing and, and, like, getting on the helicopter. And she says, I, I now know why my husband left me. And, of course, her husband is the one right there. And he says, I don't know. I didn't know you were married. Well, so like the so like the main big like, question the movie is asking you is to think about communication more like in more depth than just like it, it's not always straightforward it's not always an easy answer right yeah. it is more complicated than just being honest with somebody if you want to because again like she wants to, to, to enjoy the time that she knows she has with her daughter. And she even says that to her husband too, when, when like he first hugs her and she says, I forgot how it felt like, or I forgot how good it felt when like for you to hold me. But this is the first time in, you know, her life timeline, you know, that he's held her. I'm remember I'm right. I'm struggling to remember all of the details of the film at this point, which probably puts me at a pretty significant disadvantage. Well, I mean, well, I think it's why you're just like uh, you think like you feel like it's tacked on when like well, that's no, I mean that that's was I, that's my recollection of 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 when I watched the film originally, and and oh, I would I would recommend rewatching it then because again, know, like that's the main question because yeah, like it's uh, it's a I, good I, message to communicate. That's not I, bad, like, I, but like maybe, that's and, not. Maybe it's just because I'm a, 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 a like, uh, I don't know. I, I, uh, no, no. I mean, it's a movie that begs to be watched again because, again, like, yeah. it's, it's not as easy as just, just, just communicate forehead, right? Because if she did, then she, she would have never known her daughter. Yeah. Um, so like like that's the main like, I, I just like so the main theme of the movie like, is communication. Yeah. And like I, the main struggle is her deciding whether or not to tell him. And eventually like remember, eventually she does break down and tell him. 
And that's what causes him to leave. And then he can't look at his daughter the same way. Because the daughter's going to die or something? Well, yeah, yeah. Well, he knows she's going to die young, so he can't like, process that. Like, truly, like, how, it's you a know, truly like, comprehensive how, movie. You must watch all parts of the movie simultaneously. True. That was my failure. I failed to watch the movie with the uh, with the heptapod subtitles. That would have fixed everything. Well, well honestly, when, when you if you rewatch it, it helps knowing that those are recollections she's having, right? They're not just like thrown in there at random. Yeah. Like the opening isn't. The opening is, you know. Well, I mean, to, I never said to, that they were they were thrown in there at random. I mean, I thought the movie was fantastic. Oh no, I yeah, just, yeah. Well, I yeah, just, yeah. I but I mean, you I get you get that feeling them. sort of when you watch it at like first, like like they're like you feel like uh. It's to make you relate to her, like right when you first watch it, mm -hmm. because you know you feel like okay, she's, you know, uh, PTSD is the wrong word, but yeah, she's just having some like poor like memory response to her daughter. Yeah, but unknown to you, she doesn't know who that person is. So if you rewatch it with that in mind, you're seeing like this unfold in real time, and you get that connection that. Oh, she's gonna get to know her daughter, and and then decide ultimately not to tell him, because she, again, thinks it's worth it, for at least the time that they have together. Yeah, I mean, I don't. So, maybe, like, that's maybe a, that's just... the main like like theme of the movie is communication. Is yeah, it's I mean, not I, that I, easy. I I I, de I definitely didn't. I mean, I I never got the impression that like there was in fact the 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 communication process with both the heptapods and other humans was portrayed throughout the film as a grueling process and um and like i mean like everything from uh sure but the solution to that was just to communicate like for them just to talk to one another that's awesome um, right well no so they not entirely like it yeah was well, it yeah, was, yeah. As it, soon as they talk, as soon as uh, the the Chinese general backed down uh -huh. and t started talking, it immediately solved the, you know, problem. Well, yeah, right? but getting to that was like a huge process, and that was like the actual process of communication was the hard part. The conclusion was oh, amazing. sure, sure, yeah, but I like, mean, but then, but again, like just but just communicating is what solves the the, the surface, you know, conflict of the film. So like. Yeah, it's kind of a weird. Well, just communicating like, across like three languages, basically. Well, it's just, just like, like a very one dimensional. Like it's a one dimensional like message that I think everybody would agree with, right? Like, really? Communication. See, I didn't think so. I I felt like, I felt like well, communication good. Like 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 I don't. I mean, okay, I shouldn't say everyone. Yeah, I was gonna say most like, people. Maybe... Most people would agree. I don't know. Maybe, I I I I feel like maybe you're overestimating the the the. Well, I mean, well, okay. So online politics jades a lot of people. So I blame you, because again, like when I started no, streaming no. like years ago, it's not about that. Well, it's like, not about online politics. I'm I, the first thing that came to my mind was IRL stuff. I'm like, online politics is easy communication versus trying to communicate with the. Uh, oh my fuck that stuff. shit! People are lying. Everybody's lying. Fucking. You get two sentences in, you know, somebody drops IQ and, you know, gets fishier. Nah, nah. Fuck you, dude. Not, you? not you, but oh, okay. not you, but the Nazi crowd that, that, you know, like, they're just asking questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now. Well, but I mean, like, yeah, I don't like, know. Like, like, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, so, so I don't, it's like the movie, like, like communication for it. It's not, it's not like that. It's, it's not that simple. It's like the point of the movie. Yeah, I, I suppose. I I didn't really see. I I I didn't find the like. I, I found the like. Like like you aren't supposed to care about their love plot. That doesn't matter. But, but you're see, supposed but to care about not, her. Like, like I I I I don't I I I don't I don't know. Like a love plot is a pretty serious thing to not to for a movie to tell me not to care about. And and when I. Like I mean, well, I mean, I like, cared about you, like, I cared about her relationship with the the heptapods like hella big. I'm like, well, it's making the friends, the alien friends. This is great. And then it was just like, well, yeah, like, but I, but I mean, like that that, 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 that was really important though. He, he 
They have to, or I, I forget, uh, I forget which one died. Uh, uh, Costello, he, he, can I gender the heptapod? The heptapod teaches her how to communicate, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, so, like, that's really important. Yeah. Her relationship with the dude, not really important. What's important is her struggle, like, whether she communicates to him about their daughter, right? Like, like, like her relationship with her daughter is like, is what is important. Yeah. I, cause I again, suppose. like, well, like, like, cause the entire movie, like she's not, she's Hold not on. married to it. Hold on like, a second. Hold on a second. I'm being, I'm, I'm somebody I think may have, may have, may have solved my brain issue before I did silent DM me and let's see. Oh, that is uncharitable. That is very uncharitable. <laughs> what is it? Very uncharitable. I mean, what is it? I mean, I mean, you're not wrong entirely, but that's unrelated to this conversation. Okay. Is it because they're white or is it because they're heterosexual? No. It's, oh, listen, I, listen, listen. Just because I'm a f fuck, fuck you, people. You know this is this is too. You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to be able to do a a a, a read on me. Okay, that's not allowed. That's that's against the rules. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, Silent said you just wanted her to fuck the heptapod instead, didn't you? Uh, and I'm like, damn. I mean, come on. That would have been a way more satisfying story. Let's be real. And it could have still had the same thing because it could have just been the daughter. But the heptapods can, like, do time magic and shit. And then it just goes like that. And then she has to decide whether she's going to fuck the heptapod or not. And, of course, she'll choose to fuck look, the heptapod. Look, look, look. There, there is an episode in season two of the OA that you'll be really into, okay? Of the OA? Yeah. What's it's that? a great show. Uh, it, it doesn't really have an ending. But there's one episode you'll be really into. Damn. Sounds, sounds right up my alley, yeah. Give me that Bloodborne shit. Um, but, uh... No, nah, but but yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, maybe I'm just a like. Because remember, she knows that like the relationship's gonna end, right? Like, yeah. So she no knows all that. Well, yeah. Oh. I mean, but everything's gonna end, right? Well, no, no, in the sense of she knows that he's gonna leave her. Well, but yeah, but everybody's gonna leave everybody eventually, right? Either by death or by choice. Well. No. Not not when your daughter's like sixteen and dies, and actually way before that. Why do, wait a she second. Like he... Hold on. Now the, here is a plot hole. Why the fuck? No. It's... Why the fuck can she choose whether or not to get with the the husband to have a kid or not versus why okay, she couldn't so, prevent so the accident? So it's complicated. It's complicated. But again, See, she's this perceiving. This is why. This is my problem with that. None of these problems It's not. Problems it's exist. not. None of these it's problems not a exist plot. If it was just no, a, it's not. It's just the heptapods. It would have just stayed right there, and you could have just had a a nice. Clean... No, you couldn't have because it still would have been the same same way. How does she write? Okay, because it's still the the time travel paradox, right? It's sci-fi. It's it's a vehicle to tell a well, story. It's yes, just like Terminator. It doesn't why... make any fucking sense okay, okay, that you no send way. a robot back in time that needs to use a fucking phone book okay wait a, se wait a it's second just, though it's I just a vehicle to tell a story wait i agree with you to a certain degree right which is that okay first of all terminator is just total dumb there's no thought whatsoever now arrival is not total dumb so that means you have to masterfully disguise issues with uh, it's not time. it's not an issue it, again they, they explain it Okay. Do they explain it, why it, it, she can't save the daughter, but she could decide whether or not the daughter is ever born? Be, it feels like it would be easier. Because, because her daughter didn't get like shot, but like in a drive-by. Her daughter dies of a disease. But she, but the, she could get the disease treated, right? If you could see time. No. Wait. How know. could? Okay. Why so, didn't so again, they just help say, out? What they, the fuck is their problem? What the fuck is their wait, stupid problem? how the fuck are the heptapods going to help out, like, with cancer? Wait, okay, minute, okay, hold on a second. They, now, give, now, they, now, give, now, they give you the ability to spicy, perceive okay? time, but, like, you, I'm like gonna go further. here's I'm the gonna cure go for AIDS? What the fuck? Who the fuck, what the fuck kind of, of asshole alien appears, terrifies the shit out of an entire uh, planet of... Of 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 grug ass simians, and then 
appear and then just goes here let me teach you how to how to think about time and perceive all of time at the same time but you can't do jack shit about it and then three middle fingers come up or seven middle fingers come up and then they just take off into space what the fuck kind of aliens are that anyway. uh pretty dang ones oh i see i see you know what i have a movie recommendation for you that i think you'll like shoot sure. the endless have you seen it uh not yet Basically, uh, I'll add it to the list. Just, just imagine uh, horror arrival. Uh, uh, horror is really tough to write. It's See, if you're different. into that, I'd recommend uh, Hereditary or The Babadook. Seen both of them. Liked both of them. They're super danky. Yeah, I'm a, Oh, I'm but a... yeah. Oh, big movie the... nerd. Wait, thanks for... Wait, wait. You're asking the heptopods to come to Earth and have a cure for, like, human diseases? What? A hepto Wait a second. Heptopods can understand time and space. They are so far advanced. If the heptopods come to Earth and they don't realize the importance of humans dealing with disease, they just ignore that, then the heptopods have failed to communicate and understand humans. It's a two-way street. Wait, wait, okay, okay. No, 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 no. This movie, okay, the movie explains it very fucking clearly, right? Because uh, uh, Abbott dies because he gets blown up. But then he comes back. Now... No, there were two of them. Yeah, and then they say that, no, they say that he go that he's going into a that he's going into like a a a, a no phase. no no no. It, it, it's because again, like you're you're reading like her her uh, it subtitles it, but it's her interpretation of what he writes, right? So it says something like, uh, I think it's, I think it was she asked where's Abbott, and he says death process. He he's dead. But but death doesn't really mean much when you when you perceive all time at the same time, right? But for humans it does because we still have. Uh, to wait no okay, it, it it even if I perceive everything like non-linearly, like I I still have limited time with somebody, right? So like no. that's still matters. Well, no, I don't think so. What? I don't know because this what? is where this is where we start getting into the like the the like. Uh, time, that is literally time like the plot of the movie. Okay, so the end of the movie, she she would rather have oh, like no. the the roughly sixteen years with her daughter than no time at all, right? I mean, yeah, but but that only makes sense because that's important. But, what? But that, but that only. So you're you're saying like it doesn't matter because she can perceive time differently? No, it still matters. She still wants to, like, enjoy the time with her daughter. Well, but she already is. At the moment that she makes the decision, she is concurrently d enjoying the time with her daughter. Okay, okay. Well, okay, and so the reason it's complicated and the movie explains this is because, okay, just because she perceives time differently doesn't mean it's time travel, right? So if she would decide not to do it, well, but then she would no longer, like, recollect to, it. Well, it's indicated in the movie that they're able to make decisions at, at various times. That can change the outcome, or she the is outcome. sort of. Well, she talks when to the she's... guy, and so does the other guy, right? The Chinese guy also figures out at the last minute. No, 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 right? no, no, no. Well, no, no, because he explicitly says to her, "I do not pretend to understand how your mind works, but you will. Are you set? Are you called me on this number?" Yeah. And then she looks confused because at the time, she because again, it, it it's complicated. But right. she's recollecting this, right? Uh -huh. She doesn't know his phone number at the UN meeting when, like, it's resolved. Right. Or you, you, I say UN, but whatever. But so, um, but that means that implies that there's quite a bit of, uh, like, that she can take information from the future into the past and alter the future with it. And we know that's the case because. Well, it, it's not altering the future. It's just, again, like, it's just non chronological. Like, she's recollecting future events that happen. The shield do. But I thought the whole thing so, about the heptopods is that their language had to be read all at once because they experience time as like an a, a, like a, a concurrent solid. Like they move differently through time than we do. So like their they perception... perceive time differently, but they don't move differently through it. Well, like be, again, by, they like default, Abbott knew he case, was right? going to die at that time, right? Well, yeah, like, that's that, why they saved I mean, the they humans. Well, because if you understand, like, okay, so now maybe maybe my conceptualization here is a little off but um but 
as I understand it, if you go into the fourth dimension, if you if, if visualize things like a fourth dimensional model, you end up with. Oh God, please. I love you, but do not try to like explain this movie in like actual, like scientific terms. Okay. It's, well, but, it's but just see, a vehicle. The ending does, it's, it's a vehicle. It's a vehicle. No, no, but I no, think it's that's not. A, I think that's it's just, a vehicle. I think, the, I think the love plot. The is movie a is a vehicle wheel. to tell a story. It's Sorry, not a love plot. It's just trying to ask you to understand that communication is more difficult than just communicating with somebody, well, but right? But I got that already. Because I got that by the by the time we got to that by the time we got to the part where they were about to blow. No, each other because up. the the resolution of the entire movie is so. Wait a minute. Then just maybe, communicating. Forehead. Maybe my reading. Maybe my reading is the true heptapod reading because I knew by the time that we got to the resolution of the plot that 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 communication was complicated five head without having to perceive wait but it wasn't and i was it able wasn't. to avoid the cringy it wasn't plot. complicated five head but it was it was super complicated okay. they had to they had to like, okay uh, okay no 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 how she reached the communication was complicated but that but the communication itself was not complicated wait, but that's the literally same thing. all no 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 it's not you're what? you're equivocated what do you if mean? i have to like tear Okay, okay. If there's like a language barrier, us communicating is complicated. Uh -huh. That doesn't mean communication is itself complicated. Well, sure. It does. If we That's both right. understand each other, then communication separate, isn't like. How can you separate the process so the movie, of communication from communication itself? Okay, let's say you're in Europe. Neither of us have internet. Us communicating is pretty fucking complicated, right? Is that is that communication itself? As a concept being complicated, or is it just like the the method of getting one message to the other? That's complicated. Well, they're the same, right? The logist. I, I, wait, wait. No. The wait, wait. They are. Hold on. No. Wait, 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 wait. This is expressed in the movie. This the, the movie expresses this as a theme, and this is where, like, I guess this is probably where our read of the movie is a little bit different. But the the movie expresses the 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 act of learning the heptapods language gives you the ability to communicate with them not just on a not on just that you can literally write it out but it lets you understand what they mean when they say something this is to say that language is communication there is there is what we use as a language is completely inseparable from our concept of communication okay okay and, and, the and movie on, explore, the yeah, yeah yeah okay you're, you're right you're right you're right in the sense of yes the movie does touch on that at some point it's a major theme right? for example because for example the when they language let's let's her experience time like the heptahods do well 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 it is communication well i i think a, a better example you could have used was uh the uh the chinese were uh attempting com to communicate with the heptapods by playing mahjong right mm -hmm. and louise's problem with that is there must be a loser, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to come out of that always understanding things as winners and losers, right? Right. right. Rather than, you know, just communicating. So well, I saw that. As I think a, I think as you're a... I think you're conflating like like if we were both in the 1700s, the Pony Express is pretty fucking complicated, but like that that's not what the movie's trying to get across. Well, see, I read that. I read the whole commentary about Mahjong as a uh as a as a critique of like preconceived um and unseen biases. So like Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, I remember yeah, yeah. that distinctly yeah, because That's right. And and so in my mind then uh like part of the reason why why the main character was able to um overcome the the communication barrier that the the chinese translators were not able to was because she was able to uh analyze like her preconceived biases her prejudices and recognize that like oh, wait sort of like we can't sort go into of. this with this very human perspective i have to be willing to no open well, no to they they got the same they got the same interpretation the chinese said remember well they got they the same both they got, under they got the same interpretation, but she figured it out while they didn't because they were still approaching. No, it. she she was charitable when they weren't. They both understood it as offer weapon. Well, yes, but one of them, the Chinese team, was trapped in a framework of war and conquering, whereas she was not. 
she was able to see an well, alternative frame, which sort included, of, which in, included altruism, which is a well. Okay, okay, but you have to remember altruism. that this is exclusively Louise, right? Like, so, so the protagonist, the United States, was gearing up to to bomb the the, the well, ship yeah, too. Yeah, I mean. Of of course, yeah, absolutely, no no doubt about that. I'm I don't think there was. I think that was the problem. I think she's like basically framed as like the only person who's able to do that, and that's why it's considered so rare and meaningful. Is because like well, yeah, to, yeah. Being well, able I mean, to she reach, like understanding is actually difficult. I mean, see that. Well, was I mean, my yeah. Takeaway. Like her... my takeaway was that like well... Louise's the fact that Louise got there at all is that is that like we we don't we undervalue. Uh, the act of of meaningful communication we're usually you know concerned with being heard or 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 uh making or imposing our our way of thinking on other people hence the the go game or mahjong or whatever it was was it go or mahjong i can't remember it, it was one. mahjong but, but mahjong. it doesn't matter you yeah. losing you would lose and go but, too yeah, so there's yeah a, same there's thing. a there's a in, inherent uh com com competitivity that's like you know, I think is sort of framed in this particular thing as very intrinsic to humans that we like, we fight with each other and we view each other as enemies all the time. And I don't think that that's necessarily entirely wrong, but what well, it's saying is that I it, mean, it's a, it's I, a I, single perspective I, when there's more. Well, well, the, the issue I have with that is the movie just explicitly states that <laughs> like, that's not ambiguous. Well, the movie it, tells it is, you, it is a, like, I mean, not only does, like, not only does she say why it's a problem, like they then go on to like explain it's a non zero sum game, right? Meaning we can have a win win here. Well, it's I not mean. about them losing and us winning or vice versa. Well, so like the movie's not ambiguous. Like that's not that's not what you're supposed to come away thinking about. Like it's very well, I don't know. clear cut. Wait, why what wait? Well, I mean, not every movie is going to have like a secret truth, you know. Oh like, no, no, no. I don't disagree with you. I know okay. So to be clear, I don't disagree at all. Right, like art obviously can be very clear. Like uh, Snowpiercer is a movie I like with a very clear message. Oh, I would right? say even more uh, than, than than Arrival, but yeah. That oh yeah, yeah, for important. sure. No, yeah, yeah. It was rich, it was very surface level. Bad. You can't you cannot miss the fucking message of that. Mm. It was a good it was, it was a good movie. Like that's the point yeah, though. Yeah. It doesn't need like something. You don't need to like leave to and like still be thinking about it for it to be good art, right? Oh, but okay. I'm just saying like Arrival doesn't just leave you thinking like about that it's supposed to leave you thinking about like communication isn't like always as clear cut as it's presented yeah because again like she chose initially not to communicate with them about their daughter she yeah. eventually does he leaves like the both of them when their daughter you know is around like seven eight I i'm mm -hmm. i'm bad at kids ages okay Probably seven. So like, that, would, that would line up with the heptapods. Well, well, remember the heptapods. Wait, they 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 had the kid after the heptapods left. No, I was joking because of seven fingers. Get it? Seven, uh, seven years I, old, I get, seven fingers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was just making a goof. I'm. A, it 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 it's late here and there. Okay, I get you. I got you. Okay. Uh. Okay, but anyway. here's the thing. So, but, uh, so I think if I think if you just rewatched it, you would realize like the movie's not trying to like get you to care about their their relationship. Oh, but that's, the movie, that's so oh, I hate that. I hate the movie is trying to get you to care about Louise's relationship with her daughter. But I cared about that already. I already cared about Louise. I already cared about Louise and the heptapods. I just did the dude felt underbaked and like the 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 the, the daughter plot didn't have enough hooks throughout the story for it to for it to matter more to me. Uh, then wait to, it totally to did i don't know i didn't feel like that i was just stuck rewatch it fucking rewatch fuck. it i mean I don't what know. was her daughter's name i don't know hannah why were why was her daughter named hannah um uh, probably because of something to do with the heptapods yeah it's a palindrome it's the same forwards and backwards oh right but that's so so like the Easter movie egg. like well, yeah, but, but but the movie goes out of its way to, like, do these things. So it's, like, really hard to... Or or it's really hard to care the first time you watch it because you think she's already dead, right? No, I didn't think so, that. Like, I mean, well, I... well, for me it is because, like, it's setting it up to, like, okay, I care about Louise more because yeah. I can relate... Or I, I can see, like, her in pain because her daughter died. But her daughter ain't born yet. 
I mean, I got so the, like I when it throws that curveball, that's like the question. Yeah, I mean, I I I at least suspected that there was like timey wimey stuff going on right away. Um, you know how upsetting this is watching this as someone who never watched these movies. There's only one movie. That's the secret. You thought there were movies. Yeah, that's right. Have your mind be melted. It's okay. You'll understand us in time. Right now, we're speaking heptapod, basically. So. You'll understand when you watch the movie and it'll all click together and you'll be able to understand all of what all of this conversation will click into place perfectly. And you'll be like, oh, and you'll have an awakening. And then you'll be frustrated that both of us were interpreting it wrong and you'll have your own interpretation in here. And then we can blow each other up over the correct interpretation. And now we have successfully. I actually I actually know which chatter it's going to be because that's how I perceive time. Correct. Yes. You are, you already know who's gonna win. Which one of us is it? Is it me? I think it's me. It, it, it's neither because it's art, so it's up for interpretation. True. I would just recommend rewatching. All right. I'll, I'll <laughs> I would probably... just recommend rewatching it. The hippy dippy championship topic, the arrival debate. Okay, listen. Yes. I would I would agree with that if uh, under one condition, which is that uh, both both cameras have to have a canvas with with uh, with zen with zen. Uh, ink in the background and everybody has to communicate it using only the heptapod language you have to study the movie and arrivalpedia for months beforehand so that everyone in the panel has to communicate that way and that's the only way it's judged part two of the debate already happened marinara that's how you know we it's already legit. know the winner this is part two. You're experiencing part two right now. None of this makes sense because you haven't seen part one because part one won't happen until the next Hippie Dippy Championship. Demon Mom and I are actually debating whether the winner of that podcast was justified. Like, True. That's how far we are we're, ahead right now. We're relitigating something that's happening three years from now. Oh man, this is great. <laughs> but seriously though, I think you'd like the endless. Uh, I, that's my movie recommend. I'll, I'll, I will probably more than likely watch Arrival again in the future, and um, perhaps. Uh, have you seen uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind? Of course, yeah, I love that movie. One of my favorites. But, uh, okay, so the OA is dank. I'm trying to think of a murder. I get, it's just like songs. Okay, when when somebody gives you a good bop, you give them a bop. Yeah. So when you, you get a movie, you give a movie, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the Fountain. Uh, I listened to the entire soundtrack of The Fountain, but I couldn't get through the movie for some reason. I should probably watch it again. Uh, it, it, it's I a slow sleep, burn. So, so uh, yeah. uh, uh, another Earth. Watch, watch that plugin. Watch that that one. All right. Okay. It's fucking beautiful. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think you'd like the endless. The endless is beautiful as well, and it is a it has time stuff, but it does a real, really good like a really, really good job of not of making it basically impossible to plot hole the movie, which is a good thing in my opinion. I like time. Well, like, I mean, yeah, I, I I don't yeah like for me as long as you don't go the way of a what was it live die repeat. It also has another title because oh I know the movie that was called the Tom it was the Tom Cruise one right yeah just don't just like if you just Re don't Regelevance. explain the science yeah if you just like it, like ignore it it's fine like if like in Twelve Monkeys just don't just oh, don't a, I love that movie yeah because they didn't try to explain the like science of it because again it's fucking bullshit well i mean there are but, oh yeah edge of tomorrow thank you chat yeah. well, so I like mean, edge of tomorrow kind of something that they happens. like dedicate 10 minutes to explaining this stupid bullshit science that is actively a plot hole like dude you're showing me a powerpoint that's impossible for you to have made if like every time one of these things die the day resets when did you make this powerpoint True. how do you know what it looks like from her descriptions you made a powerpoint of it what the fuck? This is raising so many more questions than answers. True. I don't uh, know. It just, it just rustled I've me. Seen just cut that shit out Annihilation of the movie. Was good. Annihilation was good. Um, and I, although I, I, as I understand it, the the books. Well, I don't know. The book is more uh, a, a little a little more concretely communicated than the movies. But I really liked Annihilation. I thought it was a beautiful movie and super freaky. And uh Oof, I have to go watch that one. What's that? I have to watch that one still. Yeah, it's really good. If you like uh, I don't know, like I mean I am like 
I love horror. I love freaky body horror. I love uh, mind bending shit. Um, oh, we have it. Looks like I have a debate after this. All right, looks like I'm doing a fucking eleven hour stream today. Fuck me then. Um, <laughs> okay. But um, congrats on the uh, 10k. Do we hit 10k? Uh, good luck in the debate, family. Oh, uh, not okay. yet. Not yet. Why, not yet. That why, I know of. Uh, I was. It was a pleasure getting blown the fuck out by you. Um, thank you for, uh, helping me glean one more, uh, piece of the heptapod language. I will come to understand it someday. <laughs> I hope until then you'll be patient with my dumb simian brain, but, uh, genuinely, uh, a pleasure and, uh, you are my hero. So thank you so much. Thanks. Appreciate it. Love you, family. Yeah. See ya.